right guys, today I'm gonna to do a real brief tutorial on how to use the Barbecue Dragon grilling and smoking stone. It comes in this box, it's got a styrofoam insert to pr protect the stone. And then when you open up the stone, this is what it looks like. It's a ceramic stone, it's three quarters of an inch thick, and it acts as a barrier between the charcoal and the food that you're cooking. So you can use your kettle charcoal grill as an indirect cooker or smoker. I love to cook on a kettle grill, but it's really tricky sometimes to smoke meat on it without burning the meat or overcooking it. Try cooking a whole chicken on it. You're constantly opening the lid, turning the chicken, and this solves that problem. So let me just show you every step for using your 22 inch kettle grill as a smoker. The big secret to controlling the temperature in a kettle grill is don't start with too much charcoal. If you use a whole chimney of charcoal, you're gonna be fighting with those vents for the first hour or so to keep the temperature low enough. I suggest starting with a half or maybe two thirds of a chimney of charcoal. So assuming that your charcoal is already lit and we're pretending it's lit right now, you're gonna dump your charcoal into a pile right in the middle of your grill there. You're gonna go ahead and put your smoking wood right on top of the charcoal, just like that. And that's all to it. Now, you go ahead and you take your smoking stone and the smoking stone is gonna fit right in there under the grill, under the grate level. Now it's over the charcoal, over your smoking wood, and you're gonna put in the grate right after that. Now, I suggest using a grate that has a charcoal door in it because you're gonna add more charcoal right from that big curve that's cut out of the stone. So once everything's set up and your grate is on, that's when you're gonna put on your meat. The meat fits right up over the grate or over the area of the stone. You see there's plenty of real estate available there. You can put four half racks of ribs, two whole chickens, plenty of room on there. So let me show you the stone for a second so you can see what it's doing while it's on the grill. It's got these cutouts all along the diameter all along the circumference of the stone and that's where the smoke comes up out the smoke comes up out through the charcoal adding arch and through the gaps in the side there to fill the whole grill with smoke uh, so there you go that is your setup you're going to use your vents to control temperature and then uh, every hour or so you're going to need to top off a little bit of charcoal but you'll see this thing just sips charcoal it is very fuel efficient uh, usually I find that one chimney of charcoal is enough to do a four or five hour cook, like a rib cook. Let's take a look at how a, a grill looks when it's actually smoking and cooking with the smoke pouring up out of here. It's really cool. Check this out. So this stone is all black because it's been used hundreds of times. The charcoal door is open right there. We add more charcoal and smoking wood right there. And there's our meat sitting right up over the stone. Uh, it's about half an hour into a five hour cook. So that's how you use the, the barbecue dragon grilling and smoking stone. Hope you enjoy it.